because we are going to forge a keen, keen, keen fire today. And that means we can finally defeat Nodon. Because last time we were in the fifth Lynx Kingdom. And we were ambushed by a bunch of orcs and some Famulus, which is a mage. And right now we are in the secret chamber. We are kind of locked in because there's a bunch of orcs outside. And it seems that one of the dwarves from the fifthlings still is alive. Well, sorta, of, he's undead, but he still has his mind with him. Well, normally they don't. Normally when you're undead, it means your mind is gone. She's healing. Who is she healing? Who's this? Oh, it's that Rodario. Okay. Check on Anduka and Rodario. You are very thorough, Honorable Mega. I should have asked the orc to hit me on the mouth so that you could have kissed me back into the world. Fair damsels only kiss brave warriors. Ooh. It can be many things, including a warrior. That is true, but your privates have fought so many battles throughout the land that I couldn't trust that their bearer wouldn't switch sides as soon as an opportunity arises. Hmm. Stick with the women who adore you, actor. You smirk. It would seem that Rodario is in good Yeah, he seems fine. You don't need to worry about him. She's killing him. Uh, look at the undead dwarfs. Look at Jaron. You have travelled far with Jaron. But you Jeroen. still don't know what is hidden behind the mask. The longer you look at him, the more you believe you can see a weak glow behind the steel face. Whoa! What happened with his face? You're wondering what is hidden behind the mask. Oh. You sound as oh, wait. Oh, he's looking like this. I thought it went into his body. The king of all creatures of Tion and Samusin. It wrestles with the strong and destroys the weak and incapable. His eyes are said to glow blue-violet, and the sight of him is enough to scare off the weakest. All fear him, the son of Savage. Savage, yeah, she's a savage. I'm not sure whether the Mega is joking with you. Did <laughs> she really travel with the son of her god? The Mega leaves you with eh? a meaningful smile. I mean, a little... I, I don't think they're gonna get into it, but he's not, like, the only one. It's probably not in this game. This is just the first book, but yeah. You seem depressed. Should we let a couple of orcs through the gate? You expect a quick retort, but Boindil says nothing for quite oh. a while. Oh, because of his brother, probably. About what vision might I know. Be when he brought together so yeah. many different people. He's right about that. Each has contributed towards the forging of Keenfire. We would never have set off without you. We couldn't make it without the craftsmen. We wouldn't have made it through all the orcs without the actors. And finally, the point here will wield keen fire against evil. We're the best group for this expedition. The only group who can do it. You have forgotten yourself and your brother. You forged a way through row upon row of our foes. Where Inspirational. Inspirational tongue deal. Already half lost in his thoughts again. Oh. Eh, look at Dragonfire. Ho. Oh. The hottest forge in Girdlegard. Damn. Dragonfire. The fire is said to originate from the dragon Branbusil, who was hunted by the fifthlings. You are glad that you didn't have to overcome any dragons on your journey, although you know someone who would have been thrilled by the challenge. <laughs> is this Balindis? You yeah. look at Balindis's sweaty skin, her muscles, and her hair. When you become aware of what you are doing, you stammer. Um, can I help in any way? I think the knot is coming then. She indicates to her back with a short nod of her head. <clears throat> no consent, no consent. Thank you. <laughs> you feel you're melting in her smile like steel in the forge. Of course, you're welcome. <laughs> okay. The Magister Technicus looks up from his work. Ah, Tungil, look what I found. Here, 
There are narrow steps on the walls of the chimney, and if you look right up to the top, you can see the blue of the sky. Hmm. Very good. That could uh, be our way out once smart fast. guy, smart guy. He's pretty smart, but I don't know what he's doing over here, so maybe he's not that smart. King Gizzlebert I and I. I still can't believe that I've met you in person. My time passed long ago. Do people still talk about me? Yeah. You think for a moment about how to answer. Many blame the fifthlings, and thus their progenitor, for the extent the parish land has advanced. Your name is not forgotten. The nod of the king's head is barely noticed. Mm. The beast so they're trying to come in through the doors. You look at the solid iron doors and their fittings, which are protected by the runes of Vrakus. Didn't you say the furnace is safe? Long enough. We will hold the gates for as long as necessary, at any cost. But you must be aware of what awaits us. And what? Oh, the orcs then, or what? Pointed out the chimney is a possible escape. The orcs. You only hope that you will get to use it. Why? Why wouldn't we be able to use it? As you approach Namora, she is lost in thought, massaging her wrists. She contributed a bracelet made of teonium to complete the unusual alloy needed for Keenfire. The bracelet was a present from my mother to protect me from the powers of good. Well, as it would seem, I am on the other side now. I've no use for it. Yeah, true. Hopefully you won't become too good. Keenfire can only be wielded by a foe of the dwarves. You smile at her encouragingly, and she reciprocates your glance. Both of you know that the Alpha will always be enemies of the dwarves. Yeah, but she's half. The sight of the undead dwarves who saved you makes you feel melancholy. You knew there were no living fifthlings left, but the fact that they had spent the last thousand cycles as undead makes this truth even more painful. Okay, but where do I go then? Here? On the Look. other side of the gate, the hordes of Teon are slowly drawing themselves together into an organized army. You must hurry, so that all the orcs find when they attack. Hey, ba hey, Bainsney. Thank you for coming in. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, so where do... Okay. I have to look at everything. Examine everything. On masterpieces of metalworking at the same time here. The fifthlings have always been the best smiths. And you can hardly imagine what kind of amazing legendary pieces must have been created on these anvils. He stood against the orc without hesitation, even though he knew he was no match for it. Well, what? I was happy when you chose Goimgar. That wasn't at all what. I knew how much okay. of an artist and how little of a dwarf he was. But he proved that he was more of a dwarf than I reckoned. What will you do when this is over? Do you still plan to go to war against the elves? The elves' betrayal is absolute. They are to blame for the destruction of the fifthlings eh. and for the death of my father and eh. my brother. I will never be able to forgive them. There was no betrayal. Nice, I was hoping. I am Glandolin Hammerstrike of the clan of the Striking Hammers. And I, unlike you, was present on that dark day as the stone gateway fell through the betrayal of a dwarf. A, a dwarf? It was Glamdalen Strongarm of the Clan of the Strong Arm who uttered the incantation for the first time and unlocked the gate. He surrendered our land to their hordes. He was the one who showed the Elfar a secret path into our tunnels so they could attack us from behind and poison us. We were struck down with a mysterious fever. I don't understand. He was a thirdling, a dwarf killer. Who stole into our clan and masked himself as one of us to bring about our downfall. He died at my hand, but he rose again at the power of the perished land and uttered the secret words a second time. Did you hear that? It wasn't the elves, it was a dwarf. How much do you believe in Bislipper and his proof now when there's a dwarf standing here who was witness to it? Hmm. 
Hi, good to be back on stream and good to see my new favorite streamer on here again. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for joining in and saying those nice words. Oh, we're gonna fight. We're gonna have a fight now. Uh, I think I want to take... Wait. Oh. Okay. Uh. Close the gate. Oh, dang. Then I should have chosen others. Kill all intruding enemies. I will, I will. I, will. I can use her uh, abil ability like this. Go, 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 go. Tungdale, you do something. Go do something. Kill them. Uh, where is he? Wait, and he goes here? Maybe? Go. Mate, run. Go, 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 go. Why ain't he? He's still there. Gate closed. Kill all intruding enemies. Okay, this is kind of easy, I guess. Oh. Wait, what? Fight, fight, fight. We are, we are, we are. Attack. Attack. Yep. Tongue Doll, you're completely right. Okay, so where are all these? I'm friendly firing there, but there's no other way. I mean, there's so many dwarves here. Sharika94, thank you so much for following. I'm glad you enjoyed. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. Oh, they can do abilities too. I didn't know that. Right then. And what now? Huh? On my way. On my way. Work, work. Bum, bum, ba, 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 bum. Bum, da, 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 dum. Give me a hand. Yeah, yeah. Bowendal. He's not here, mate. Wrong, uh, wrong text file you got there. There's two two more left. Two more left. Where's the other one? Get over here, mate. Not a bad idea. Bye bye. This is going to hurt. Nice, we did it. That's it. We've done it. Oh, may I? Of course. Yeah, of course. For you, it would never and now he's gonna destroy them all with that axe. The axe that will banish evil from Girdlegard. Now it all Chew. makes sense. All those cycles of perseverance, of fighting, the agony of being undead. Thanks and honor be to Vragas. Tell the clans that we never gave up. The fifthlings fought against evil for as long as they could. Here, keep this as a memento. Keep what? Your gift is too generous. From what I have come to know of you, what was that? you deserve it more than any other. Just promise me one thing, Tangdil Goldhand. Rebuild my kingdom once you have freed Girdlegard and driven out the pestilence. Don't leave my kingdom to the creatures of Tion. Of course not. You can trust me, mate. You can trust me. She doesn't have any abilities here. Why? Bullandis revolves quickly and deals damage to surrounding enemies. High reach. Completely refills her action points bar. Eh. Eh. She doesn't really have any cool abilities, so I guess 
We have to choose it. A mighty storm gust extending canonically from Andakai pushes back many creatures sim simultaneously. Chance of knocking them down. Julian Cotton, thanks so much for following. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream that you decided to follow. For a short time, Jeroen doesn't receive any physical damage. Whoa. Okay, that's cool. Okay, and now we don't have any provisions. We don't have any provisions. So what are we going to do about that? I thought. Love the stream for real. Gonna be here a long, long time. Hey, thank you so much, Hulk. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. And I'm glad you're gonna be here for a long, long time. That means we're going on a long journey. Just like the dwarves. I tell you, not on is still trying to crack Ogre's death. We should go back there first. Why don't we ask them? Who? Wow. Oi, oi, little peggies! <laughs> this guy's insane. Stop! We've got to question one of them. I knew it! Peggy thief! Whoa, his, his eyes were really blue. Did you see that? What are the orcs doing in the dwarf's underground wheel network? The tunnel. Even the dwarves have forgotten it. We found the way in at Ogre's death. Oh, they can actually talk. In Ogre's death? That's impossible. Impossible. We've taken the stronghold a while ago. Been there myself. We've killed all of your friends. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Point deal. How did you manage to conquer Ogre's death? I've death. seen Ogre's death myself. You could never have conquered the stronghold. Certainly not so quickly. Think again, Grafling. Was no problem once the bridge was lowered and the tunnel shown us. You'll see. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> You're not as stupid as you look, Grafling. One of your kind lot helped us. A family. Oh no. But who? Where's not on? Uh, where is your master? That is not a question where you want to ask. You want to ask who's the thirdling? Why should I tell you that, Grandly? The choice is yours. Either you discuss it with me, with Jeroen, or with Boindil. Who's it to be? The master is at Black Saddle. He's going to destroy the groundlings hiding there. <laughs> the stronghold on Black Saddle? There aren't any dwarves left there. There are. They fled there and the master has surrounded them. It's just a matter of time until... <laughs> Why Black Saddle of all places? This all sounds very bad indeed, Scholar! We must go to Black Saddle. There's nothing for it. If our friends have lured Nod on there, then we have to use this opportunity and strike him down with Keenfire. Like and subscribe for more.